more Oklahoma City, Norman, Tahlequah, Moreland, Tuttle, Mustang, Holderville, Claremore, Poto, Gore, Pawnee, Yukon, Hollis, Granite, Elgin, Jinx, Salisaw, Binger, Okima, Muskogee, and many districts in Tulsa. All submitted over 450 Jueju this year. So please. It really is wonderful to watch the growth of this competition over the last six years. Um, the Chinese Jueju is something that uh, would take a long time to talk about in any real depth. In one way, we, we could talk about it like as if it were math itself. Um, youngsters all over the world, of course, study math in order to pass standard examinations to prove intelligence and to move upward in the world. Actually, poetry functions something like that in ancient China. It was the foundation, the bedrock for the imperial examination system. Uh, but what is math? Math is a language about the world, about nature itself. It describes its function. It teaches a deeper uh, a deeper fabric which can un we can understand reality, predict its outcomes, and in that sense, uh, better humanity. If you have a position of power, does it not make sense that you've had an education, that you've worked through rigorous self-cultivation, that you can bear that responsibility? Of course, but who would have thought that poetry is that diagnostic? That poetry is the diagnostic of intelligence, of self-cultivation for almost 2,000 years of this examination system. So how does it work? Well, it basically allows one to uh, think of everything having a, a pattern of yin and yang, um, two different forces that are not in necessarily opposition, but they correlate to one another. Uh, you can see it in Chinese cooking. If it's something a little too uh, sour, it should be what? Right? A little too salty, maybe also could be sweet as well, but you have to balance these two, right? Ginger? Garlic. Garlic. Okay. What about uh, if you go to a Chinese doctor? A Chinese doctor, a traditional Chinese medicine doctor will grab your wrist and you'll, they will uh, feel what you might need and they'll give you maybe a little bit of fire element or a little water element or wood element. There are these five elements and these two forces. Now that seems like it's part of this world, but actually the world includes language. Language functions in the same way that chemistry functions, or physics, or geomancy. Um, and that is the beauty of Chinese poetry. It allows us to take the, the basic ideas of the Chinese worldview and embody them in the very heart of what it means to be human. See, according to the classical Chinese worldview, everything has, when, a pattern. Clouds have patterns and trees have patterns. But where are the human patterns? at. They're not on the face. You can't tell if a person is this or that by looking at them. You have to hear them. When they use language, it reveals that pattern. And so to cultivate humanity, to become human, in fact, in the Chinese worldview, um, meant to become lingual. But it's language that behaves on the pattern of heaven. And that pattern is a beautiful one. So I'm going to do my best to chant a little bit of poetry with pneumonia. Zhao ci bai di cai yun jian Qian li jiang ling yi ri huan Liang an yuan sheng qi bu zhu Qing zhou yi guo the foot is all important in classical Chinese poetry. Every word is a syllable. A syllable is a word with one sonorant, one vibration, one vowel. The poems written in this competition all must be monosyllable words. Let's start with the college winner. Lindsay Jones. Lindsay Jones. She writes, Dead leaves, stark sky, 
cold winds blow, brown grass, gray clouds, chill air flows, new roots, rich land, warm earth holds, deep down, sprouts reach, start to grow. Now, I want you to look if you see this, because you'll need to use your eyes for this one. Notice, go vertically, dead, brown, new. Go to the next word, leaves, grass, roots. Keep going. Stark, gray, rich. Again, sky, clouds, land. Cold, chill, warm. Winds, air, earth. Blows, flows, holds. Do you see it? The first two are resonating in the yang force and then always in counterbalance to its opposite in the third line. In other words, these poems have been written at the second level, vertically and horizontally at the same time. It's a perfect engine um, holding together the world and reflecting that pattern of heaven. These are exquisite language machines, and they reflect the best of what humanity has learned from nature and what we give back to it. So uh, let's go ahead and invite our college winner up here to receive her award. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I'll read, the, I'll read all of them in a second. Lindsay, do you want to come over here? I get to give the $500 check. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you done with that? Yeah, well. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's now move on to high school. Uh, the high school winner, Elizabeth Blazik. Where are we here? Elizabeth? There we are. Um, I'll read it. <laughs> if you want to, you can come on. I will, I'll read the poem as she, as she comes. Okay, so here it is. Vast sky, sparse clouds, stars shine bright. Clear air, soft breeze, moon glows white. Swift streak, hands held, wish is cast. Brief smile, warm touch, heart grows light. Middle school. Uh, middle school winner this year is from Carver Middle School, second year in a row for the, that middle school. Congratulations. Um, go ahead and come down, Jennifer Sosa. <laughs> Carver also included a wonderful set of illustrated Dreju this year, which are wonderful. All right, so here's the poem. Clear air, warm breeze, white clouds gleam. Blue sky, birds sing, low, lone stream. Gray clouds, tense air, storms I see. Calm now, slight wind, it's a dream. And 
And last, but thank you. Last but not least, our elementary school winner from Tuttle, right here, is Colby Bauman. (laughs) Blue sea, bright sun, green grass grows, sharp rocks, small clouds, calm breeze blows, new boats, old rocks, wave crash down. Sun sets, moon rise, the sea flows. All right, so uh, for all of our winners, come on back up. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. One just left to the restroom. Oh, well, then we'll do the group picture later. Okay, sounds good. Well, anyway, congratulations, everyone. Yeah.